First up, we have Gabe Finley. Before Gabe came to know Christ, he simply felt unfulfilled. While sitting in a service at Second Chance, Gabe felt like God spoke to his heart for the first time. He decided to respond to the gospel that day and give his life to Jesus. Now Gabe says he knows that he is never alone when he struggles and his life is truly complete. Rachel Hanner. Rachel has been raised in a Christian home and never really felt far from Christ, but knew that she needed a personal relationship with him. So she decided to officially ask Jesus into her heart in the fall of 2018. Now she knows that Jesus is her savior and she feels like she can talk about this decision with her family and friends. Jim Skanechny. Before Jim came to know Christ, his life was very uncertain. He had many unanswered questions. While active in the U.S. Army, he had a fellow soldier invite him to church. He went through Bible classes and got baptized, but still did not understand what any of it truly meant or what to do next. He came to a point in his life where he was out of work and became desperate for something to change. He got on his knees crying and begged God to tell him what to do. Two weeks later, Jim got a job. He has been attending and serving at Second Chance Church and officially nailed down his relationship with Christ publicly on May 19th, 2019. He is closer to Christ now than he has ever been, and he knows that he can't do life without Jesus. Cherokee Skanechny. Cherokee grew up going to church every Sunday. In 1968, she responded to an altar call and was baptized shortly after, but never truly understood what this decision meant. She went through life still feeling like something was missing. She says she left Christ, but he never left her. In August of last year, Cherokee suffered from some severe medical complications so severe that doctors told her husband that there was a large chance she wouldn't survive. After a month in the hospital, she had recovered enough to go back home. She knew that God had healed her body and wasn't done with her life yet. She recently moved to South Carolina where she got plugged in and began volunteering at Second Chance, and today she is getting baptized to publicly declare Jesus as her Lord and Savior. Marley Blake Simpson. Before Marley made a decision to accept Christ, she had a lot of hard questions. She wanted to believe, but still felt unsure. Because of the doubt, she felt worry, pain, and confusion. Her parents helped walk her through the decision by telling her that she didn't have to be afraid and praying with her to ask Jesus into her heart. She now finds her identity in Christ and finds peace in knowing that she doesn't have to have all the answers. Mitchell Simpson. Mitchell prayed to accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior in his living room with his mom at eight years old. He says he has grown in his relationship with Jesus since then and feels like a completely different person.
Annie Fraley. Before Annie knew Christ, she experienced a void and an emptiness inside of her that she could never fulfill. She knew about Jesus most of her life, but made a decision to accept him into her heart at a student ministry event a few years ago. Now she feels whole and trusts that God is in control no matter what. Today, she is publicly declaring Jesus as Lord. Joe Gear. Joe grew up in a Christian home and always knew about Jesus, but the birth of a severely handicapped child led him to ask the question, why does God allow this to happen to a helpless child? He drifted away from the church and began going through the motions of Christianity. One day he was driving home and saw a billboard advertising a Christian radio station. Something told him he needed to tune in. He was deeply moved and felt like he had made a reconnection with Jesus at that moment. God was clearly saying to him, I want you back. I have a job for you. Ever since reconnecting and solidifying his relationship with Jesus that day, Joe feels much more at peace knowing he has a purpose in life and a personal relationship with God. Today, he is publicly honoring that rededication through baptism. Kingston Tanner. Kingston attended Second Chance's first ever Easter service <laughs> and knew that it was time to accept Jesus into his heart. During the invitation, he responded to the gospel and received Christ with his dad by his side. He says now he no longer feels like he's missing something important. He now has hope and knows he can come to God when he needs help getting through something hard. Sharon Rucker. Before Christ, she had just completed a rehab program. She was saved a few weeks ago on April 20th. She was baptized as a child, but wants to go public with her new faith at her new home church, Second Chance Church. If your next step is baptism, you can get baptized at the 1115 service. As you leave today, you just walk out, and instead of going right to go to the Cheesecake Factory, you can go left and go to the care, care room, and we'll get you signed up, and we'll get you baptized in 1115 service. It's been a great day to celebrate who Jesus is and what Jesus has done. Let's give him a hand one more time. Y'all have a great Sunday. We'll see you next week for communion.